prayer. Thank God for the absent part of the church. Thank God for our pastor and his absence. May God give him traveling mercies. And everybody, um, I just I just want to just thank God for just having a mind to talk about Jesus and knowing more about who Jesus is. And I was just like thinking like during prayer, like about the woman who had the issue of blood for how many years she had it. And just like how, you know, as a woman, how she, you know, just kneel down and, you know, want to touch the hem of Jesus' garment. And just that humility that's in it that where me and Ann women the right can definitely get something from our next door. Yeah. And um, a lot of times we don't want to humble ourselves and just how she just, you know, just touching just the hem of his garment and just how she was made holy. Yeah. And I just want to um, just continue to encourage the saints just to, to just continue to just run on, you know, it's, it's so much higher height and deeper depth in God that we have not even, um, you know, just, just being just open and realize that like, I was on the phone talking like one o'clock this morning about Jesus and the Word. It was just like, just very inspiring talking to the person about the Word. Yeah. And it just, um, I think not for my mother, I was thinking about her and just the life that she lived, you know, like her being saved at 13, being from 13 to 17, 18, you're now married. And I don't think my mom has a lot of friends. I think her friends are her children because it's like, you know, you get married and then next thing you know, you, your children, you know, you're raising children from 18 until, what, 40, 40 or something. And I was thinking about my mom, just, yes. well, just, um, just the life that she lived and just yes. being an opportunity to help her and help you find, you know, you know, what you want to do. She has so many ideas and it's just a good example that she has. And that may God continue to strengthen her body. So first we're going to sing this song. I'm seeking for a higher.
what the Lord will bless my husband and I to um, accomplish in this life. And I'm just thinking, I said, well, what we need to do is put things in order because I don't want no bickery and no, um, you know, nothing hard for my children. What the Lord just continue to bless them with knowledge and the stuff that we have to do as people down here on this earth. But most importantly, I thank praise the Lord. I'm going to continue to rely on the Lord that He continue to bless my children because He said the promises for me and my children too. Yeah. And I thank the praise the Lord for my children that is all here this morning. Thank God for having a son and all Mr. Corey here. Thank you, praise the Lord for my lovely grandchildren, uh, brother Edward. Hey, come on, thank you, praise the Lord for him and all our grandchildren. It's nobody but the Lord, and I won't take nothing for this. I got another yes for it. I swear that I'm here, but nobody say, This is my yes. This is my testimony. This is my thank you. I got another thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The Lord, the Lord is going to bless and do for me. And I just thank you, praise the Lord. You know, my trials are not so big, but I think about some of the things that I may go through, but I'm still looking at positive way of making praise the Lord for the sisters of unity, how we had 21 days of fasting, not fasting, or some out of fast, but we do fast on Wednesday and Fridays, I know people fast other days, but 21 days, 21 minutes just to get together throughout the week, what way we selected to do each group, to unite closer to Jesus, hallelujah, because I know I can pray more, I need more time just communicate with the Lord, but ask the Lord to continue to build us all up. Build me up. I don't want to be a stumbling block, like I often say to my husband, because I was crying for the Lord when I didn't even know him. And I thank the praise of the Lord. I have that same determination to continue to hold in my ways. I don't know how my tests are, all my trials may come, but I, Lord, I'm looking for the Lord to continue to give me the victory. This morning, I thank the praise of all you, brother. We can charge the praise and worship service. Thank God for all of the brothers in the house and prayer, my um, sisters in Christ Jesus. Thank you, praise the Lord, for um, Denise West and his mom and his brother. That all of you will feel this love. This morning, I just thank you, praise the Lord, for my water baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Pray for me, saints, so I pray for you.
praise God for waking me up this morning, closing me in my right mind, giving me a mind to honor him, to worship him, to pray to him. Yeah. Truly, it's not my mind. It's his mind that he's giving out to me to worship him. And I thank you, praise God, for the gift of the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues as the Spirit of God give me utterance. I thank you, praise God, for my baptism in the name of Jesus Christ, which washed away all of my sins. And I thank him for even daily repentance, daily asking him, Lord, continue to cleanse me, continue to wash me and make me whole and make me more like you. I thank you, praise God, because even this morning I listened to the same song Christy was singing uh, about, Lord, somebody needs you right now, Lord. And I thank you, praise God, truly for the Lord allowing her to sing that song because God knows I need him. There's not one moment that I do not need him. I thank and praise God for how he continue to keep us encouraged in him. Though we feel what is going on, not just out there in Ukraine, but in the body of Christ, I thank and praise God for how the Lord is always victorious, always giving us a mind to want to um, be right, want to be holy. As my mom said, I even thank and praise God for the 21 days of prayer that the women had. No, we had some resistance. Some sisters didn't want to pray together, but I do thank and praise God for those who did. I thank and praise God because the Lord continued to give us the victory because if we eat together, we should truly be able to pray together and, and fast together and do those spiritual things together first. And so I, I'm, I'm not ashamed to say that because we know those things should be, but I thank and praise God for keeping us encouraged through it all because we have to persevere. We have to go on. But I thank and praise God for leading us in that because truly if we don't pray um some old people said if you don't pray you don't stay if you don't fast you won't last i used to hear that a long time ago i was in my teens some of the mothers used to say that when we was on the ground first church but i think it praise god for continuing to hold on continue to not just pray for us as sisters but we've been praying for the brothers we've been praying for the nation we've been praying for our children we've been praying for the lord to give us a peace of mind we've been praying just thanking god for deliverance for God to continue to um, make uh, the people of God one. It's so many things we we had to um, we, that we petitioned before the Lord, and we trust that um, He is He already has done so many great things. He has done truly, truly great things on the natural side and the spiritual side. I thank and praise God for giving my husband in our favor. We were having some difficulties with some appliances that we brought from Lowe's. And to make a long story short, the lady told us, hey, choose whatever other one that you want. She didn't even say in this price range. But thank God for still giving us a mind to be reasonable. But allow us to get what we desire from the Lord. And that was during the 21 days of prayer. They don't praise God even to the 21 days of prayer when we were down in South Florida. How the Lord gave us truly victory and how the Lord led Sister um, Hayes to guide the sisters in a conversation about having confidence in the Lord. And how Sister Kim Pierce gave us um, a wonderful encouragement testimony for life of so many other women. That's what God did for us in the 21 days of prayer. I think we praise God for protecting our children. I thank God for keeping them safe. I thank God for um, helping our brothers. We've been praying for our brothers. We want our brothers to be filled with the Holy Ghost. And that's what we desire from the Lord. Because they need God. And I pray for my brother, even Joseph, who is filled with God's spirit. That God, that God continue to keep him and help him. We pray for our children that God will bless them to come through with the Holy Ghost and those who are seeking. I do thank and praise God for my prayer group, Lord Jesus. How Butter Sister Butterfly in our prayer group, how she always have encouraged and prayer to pray before the Lord. We thank and praise God that even um as we was entering in and our prayer week on this week, how um the Lord allowed more sisters to want to join from South Florida and various places. And I thank and praise God because we didn't go out and seek. We didn't go out and say, hey, they just heard of the good news. And when you hear good news, you want to be a part of that good news. And I'm encouraged by that, Lord God. And so I ask you to continue to pray for us sisters that the Lord will lead us and you will guide us along the way. Because truly, if he lead us, we will not stray. And that the Lord help us and keep us because sisters have requested for 21 more days of prayer. And we give God praise and honor that God willing in August we'll be praying the Lord in Jesus' name. God is good. All the time and all the time, God is good. Pray for us in Jesus' name. Thank you.
is our help. He is our helper in Jesus Christ's name. So it's a privilege to be able to go to God in prayer. It's a privilege to be able to call upon him in Jesus Christ's name. Many have chance, many have opportunity, but they don't take the chance to call on the name of the Lord. So we thank and praise God truly for giving us that, that knowledge in Jesus Christ's name. Not only that knowledge, but that mind. Can you imagine just going through life and don't even have a mind to call Jesus? Don't even have a mind to just to say, say Jesus. But say it with faith in Jesus Christ. Man. Say it with, with, with understanding. You know, we thank God that we were introduced to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Because some have, they don't even have the, they don't even have the chance that we have, Saint. Amen. Some of them don't even know who the Lord is. You know, Bible says it's better for, you know, it's better to, to not to, to have an untimely birth than to come through this life and don't even you know, acknowledge the Lord. You know, but I thank God for just giving us a chance, you know, through the life that, you know, we have been, you know, lived and, and the saints who we have been around, affiliated with, just to have that chance and opportunity to call on the name of the Lord, to teach our children, you know, to call on the Lord, you know, and to be a, a witness for the Lord, because, you know, being around the church, not just around the church, but being in the church, you know, for the years that, you know, we've been here, you know, I've seen a lot of great things that happen in the church. You know, a lot of a lot of saints have been healed. A lot of you know, a lot of testimony, a lot of encouragement in Jesus Christ's name. And I, I truly want to be an encouragement to somebody. You know, out of the life that the Lord has lived through me in Jesus Christ's name. I haven't always been right. There's sometimes you know that I get wrong in this way. But I ask the Lord to give me strength. You know, to give me power to overcome because the enemy is always the force, saints. Whether he gets in our natural bodies, causes us to be sick. But they get in our mind and cause us to go astray. You know, the enemy is always around us. We're striving to fight the enemy day in and day out. You know, we need one another. We need one another to, to help us on this journey. This is, this is a tedious journey, say. The world, you know, there's so much that goes on in the world. Can't you look at the world and see how the world is getting worse and worse? There's so many, there's so much killing. Every day there's killing. You know, little children being molested. You know, older folks being molested, yeah. robbed, and so forth. You know, there's so much that goes on in this life. The world needs the Lord. The entire world needs the Lord. Yeah. It's like we sang a song, you know, I forget how, how the words go, but if everybody knew Jesus, mm -hmm. everybody knew Jesus, yeah. what a wonderful world this would be. That's so true. But it's like, you know, everybody, some, you know, some have heard of the Lord. But then the devil still come in and infiltrate their mind, deceive them, cause them to you know get on drugs, cause them to do things that just they they keep their mind off of the Lord. There's so much in this life that can keep us occupied. Say we have to take the time to call on the Lord. We have to take the time to read the Scripture. We have to take time just to pray one for another because we all need one another. If you if you got enough prayer for yourself, pray for somebody else. If you got, if somebody come across your mind, pray for them. You know, because we need one another. Yes, Lord we Jesus. We need one another. In a, in a time like this, yes. if everybody was to sit out and just to tell you the things that they're going through, mm -hmm. things that are, you know, even coming their way. Sometimes, you know, it's like we don't, we don't express ourselves sometimes because we don't know how it's going to fall into certain years, so to speak. But if we can just sometimes just sit down and, and talk with one another, you know, not to, as they say, to tell all of your business, but it's about letting somebody know to pray for you. I'm really going through. I'm really struggling. I'm really, you know, striving to be safe. But the enemy is warring against my mind. He's trying to bring me back into captivity. You know, I'm having a fight. I'm having a fight. We all got fights in Jesus Christ. Man. But we need the Lord all the time, from the least to the great. It doesn't matter how young you are, the devil can get you. It doesn't matter how old you are, the devil can get you. It don't matter how long you've been in the church, the devil can get all of us, right? But we have to continue to stay on this fire of line. We have to continue to stay on the holy, holy, the holy command. We have to continue to keep the holy commandments of the Lord. Stay on this holy highway in Jesus Christ's name. Mm -hmm. So, saints, let us sincerely pray one for another. Mm -hmm. You know, not just let that fall in the ears, deaf ears, but let us pray one for another. The Lord is not. The Lord is waiting to hear our cry. The Lord is. He prayed for us. Lord Jesus. He prayed Lord for Jesus. us, saints. Because the enemy is out there to get all of us. Mm -hmm. 
and you can capture, capture all of us in any time. When you think you're strong, the enemy can get you. Yes. When you're weak, he can most certainly get you. So let us pray one for another in Jesus Christ's name. Pray for not only us that are here in this Bible, but worldwide. Worldwide. Because this is God's world. We are God's people. We're striving to be his people. So let us pray one for another in Jesus Christ's name. Thank you, praise God, truly, for all the songs, all the testimonies which have truly gone up to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And thank God for the sisters having a mind to go in prayer and pray for the church in Jesus Christ's name. Because we need it. We most certainly need it. So we thank God for y'all just having that mind in Jesus Christ. Thank you. Continue to do those things. At this time, are they getting announcements? Somebody would like to be here at the worship and the Lord's Creator. We give God the highest honor and praise. We thank and praise God for our pastor. May God bless and keep him in his absence. We thank and praise God for Minister Corey, Brother Ricky, in charge of praise and worship service. And all of you who are here, we do acknowledge the West family. May God bless and keep you all in Jesus' name. Thank you. We do want to give God thanks and praise for our musicians, the ushers, the praise and worship um, saints and children. We give God thanks for you all as well. Thank God. Um, as Brother Ricky said, thank God for the sisters who were in had mind to pray. Continue to pray much for us, and thank God for those words of encouragement to us. Um, we definitely need prayers as well. And we ask God, ask you all to um, pray for Bishop Pine, who's still in the um, rehabilitation center. Continue to pray much for him. Pray for the Mims family in Gainesville, Florida, that the Lord will touch and heal Miss Mims, her husband, who helps us out um, on different occasions. Continue to pray much for them. Um, continue to pray for those, like Brother Ricky said, who may be traveling, that God give them a safe journey to and from in Jesus' name. As we speak about travels, please keep in mind that um, we will be traveling to Columbia, South Carolina this Friday, August 4th, at the Lord's will. Um, service in Columbia is Friday, August 4th at 7.30. Saturday evening, August 5th, 4 o'clock p.m. Sunday morning. August 6th at 11 a.m. Um, this will be for uh, their Brotherhood Fellowship Service hosted by the Church of the Lord Jesus Christ um, with Pastor Bishop J.A.D.'s Deacon Tyrone Sands, is the Brotherhood President, who sent a letter to us on behalf of their pastor. So we, God willing, the brothers who would like to go, please make sure your name is on the sign-up sheet uh, today so that different arrangements can be made. If you need hotel arrangements, please let someone know in Jesus' name. Um, pray for our pastor who is scheduled to be preaching there, that God will continue to give him the courage and strength in Jesus' name. Um, we thank God for Sister Henry who had a birthday on um, July 28th. May God continue to bless and keep her. Um, anyone else who had a birthday anniversary, we thank God so much for you. Pray for us in Jesus' name. Thank you. <laughs> Also, by way of announcements from the youth department, our youth and young adults are going back to college and high school, elementary school, middle school um, next month, August. So since we'll be in Columbia, South Carolina, we can't do like a back to school drive. So we're asking, um, we, we would like to try to raise $200. So if you would like to give a donation, you can um, put it in the offering or put it in the envelope and put youth on it. Um, because we want to give our youth something to help them as they go back to school. So we know everybody isn't here, but those who are here, if you can pass the message along, that's our goal that we're trying to raise $200. We have about 15 to 20 youth and young adults that we want to try to bless them um, to prepare them, to help prepare to, to help prepare them as they go back to school in August. Thank you. Amen. Again, truly, we thank and praise God, truly, for all the songs and tests. I want to thank and praise God, truly, for the announcement. And again, the West family, pardon me, but I do thank God, say, for you all in Jesus Christ. <laughs> and at this time, if there's anything that you all would like to say, you can do so at this time. I, I always want to acknowledge our guests in Jesus' name. Even though I know y'all been here, y'all yeah. I'm gonna so. yeah. thank God for allowing me to wake up this morning with health and strength. Right. Thank God for you know taking day off of him and worshiping him. We gotta acknowledge him in all things that we do. Yeah. Yeah. And that he may continue to keep us with strength. 
grace and mercy. I mean, grace and mercy and yeah. strength. Yeah. And I like the church and I like the people. I mean, it's a family, so <laughs> I feel a part of the family. So God is mad. All I can say, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. I thank the Lord for being here. I just thank God for just being here one more time amongst the saints. You know, it just it's nothing like being in the presence of God. It's nothing like being in the presence of God's people. And then it's nothing like being in the presence of people that are filled with God's spirit. And when, when where is God's spirit is, there's liberty and there's power. God be the glory. Amen. Man, thank God for the brothers in Jesus Christ, man. I was just thinking how y'all get up and y'all talk. If you want to close your eyes and don't look, you couldn't tell, brother, you know, which one of y'all are. Right? I just say, you know, it's like, I just say, Siamese twin, but, you know, that's the power of God. That is absolutely the power of God. He can bless two people to look alike, sound alike, act alike, and nobody can tell the difference out of you sometimes. But we thank God for God in Jesus Christ, man, because God does wonders in life, you know, we can just sit back and look at it and be amazed at what God can do or what he has done in Jesus Christ, man. We thank God for you for what he's done in Jesus Christ, man. At this time, we're going to get ready to have our offertory scripture reading, and afterwards we'll be taking up one offering, the church offering, so to have an offering after that you stand after the offertory scripture reading. This morning, the offertory scripture will be coming from 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 6 to 8. But this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly, and he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Every man according as he purposeth in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity. For God loveth a cheerful giver, and God is able to make all grace abound towards you, that ye, always having all sufficiency in all things, may abound to every good work. As it is written, he hath dispersed abroad, he hath given to the poor, his righteousness remaineth forever. We step I take, I'm going to take it, in the name of Jesus.
God for you anyhow. At this time, I'm going to turn the main of the service into the hands of our minister, Minister Corey Price, in Jesus Christ's name. That's the same to stand and receive him in Jesus Christ's name. God is, God is my everything. God
Church, say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.